Hello. I've been reading stories aloud all my life to the children I teach, to my own children, to my grandchildren, and I don't intend to stop doing that now. In this book, both my love of stories and my passion for art are beautifully drawn together. I hope you enjoy it. Katie's Picture Show by James Mayhew. Katie and her grandma were in London for the day. When it started to rain, grandma said, let's go into the National Gallery and look at the pictures. Katie took grandma in through a big revolving door, spinning her round and round at least seven times. Katie had never been to an art gallery before. Isn't it very grand, she said. Oh, it is, said Grandma. But I need a nice rest after those spinning doors. You go and have a look at the pictures and be sure to be back here in half an hour. The first rooms were full of people, but soon Katie found a room with no one else in it. Katie didn't know which picture to look at first. She stopped in front of a painting of a horse-drawn cart. The Haywain by John Constable, she read. Please do not touch. Why not, said Katie. She slowly reached out her hand. To her great surprise, it went right past the picture frame and into the painting. This isn't a painting at all said Katie, it's real. Then, looking carefully around her, she climbed right into the painting. Katie looked around in amazement. Then she set off through the mud to the cottage. A delicious smell of cooking came from an open window. Katie found a freshly baked apple pie cooling on the windowsill and helped herself to a large slice. It was so good. She ate all the rest as well. Hey, that was my supper, yelled a man on the hay wain. His dog barked. So Katie thought it might be time to go. She ran back to the picture frame and climbed into the gallery. She peered around the doorway of the next room. There was a guard sitting beside the door, but he was asleep. Katie went up to the painting that she liked best. Madame Moitessier by Jean-Auguste Dominique. She read, please do not touch, but of course she did. Hello, said Katie, what a pretty dress. Merci, said Madame Moitessier, how lovely to have some company. I sit here, been looked at, but no one has ever come inside before. Will you stay for some tea and cakes? Oh yes, please, said Katie. Now. Un lump or deux? asked Madame Matessier, pointing to the sugar bowl. Trois, said Katie. They talked and talked and they enjoyed seeing the surprised faces of the other visitors to the gallery. I haven't laughed so much for years. She had to use her fan to cool herself down. Madame Matessier was laughing so much. But Katie, laughed so much that she spilt her tea. It was her fourth cup all over Madame Watessier's beautiful dress. Oh, oh clumsy, cried Madame Watessier. Sorry, said Katie. She'd also managed to get mud all over the carpet. She decided to leave before she caused any more trouble. She helped herself to another cake and jumped out of the picture and back into the gallery. Katie wandered into another room where she saw a very big painting, The Umbrellas, by Pierre-Auguste Renoir, she read. She noticed a little girl with a hoop in the painting. I wonder if she'll play with me, she thought. Please do not touch, said the notice. But once again, she did. Inside the picture it was raining. Would you like a cake, said Katie to the little girl. Merci. She replied, let's play oop. Soon they were having a wonderful game, bowling the hoop to each other. 
but Katie hit the hoop so hard it flew right out of the picture. It bounced on the floor and disappeared into another picture. The little girl began to cry. What? Sorry, said Katie. She jumped into the gallery and ran over to the other picture. It was called Surprised by Henri Rousseau. Katie saw there was a tiger in the painting. Please do not touch, said the notice. But she had to find the hoop. So she climbed over the frame and into the picture. Katie found herself in a wild jungle. The wind blew and it was raining very hard. She was a bit scared of the tiger, but he ran off through the trees. Katie couldn't see the hoop anywhere, so she went after the tiger. Katie followed the tiger through the jungle. He led her past a lake full of crocodiles that snapped their jaws at her, <laughs> but Katie just laughed. She climbed up a tree and helped herself to a banana. Just then, she thought, saw the hoop hanging on a branch. Well done, tiger, said Katie, grabbing the hoop. She followed the tiger back to the picture frame and jumped into the gallery. Katie threw the hoop back into the umbrella picture. There you go, she said. The little girl in the picture was very pleased. They waved goodbye and Katie ran off to the next room. Exhibition of modern art, read Katie. Do not touch. Katie looked at a very different picture. Dynamic Suprematism by Casimir Val Malevich, she read. Well, I suppose it might be fun to climb up that big triangle, she thought. Without checking to see if anyone was watching, she climbed inside the painting. Katie slid down the big triangle. Wonderful, she cried. This was the best picture yet. But Katie couldn't stop falling. She fell further and further into the painting. It was like falling into a great big mouth. Help, she cried. She didn't want to be eaten up by a big piece of modern art. Someone shouted, hang on. It was the guard. He threw a rope into the painting and Katie grabbed hold of it. Then he pulled her back into the picture frame. That'll teach you to obey notices, he said. Sorry, said Katie. I don't think I'll do that ever again. Katie was covered in splodges of sticky paint. After she cleaned herself up, Katie thanked the guard and went to find Grandma. Grandma was snoozing on a comfy chair. There you are, she said, waking up. I hope you had a lovely time. Oh, yes, thanks, said Katie. You can see all sorts of wonderful things in these paintings. It's a start started to stop raining now. So, after Katie had bought postcards of her five favourite pictures, they went to find a cup of tea and a big piece of cake. Definitely one of my favourites. I hope you've enjoyed it too.